Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to take a closer look at the uh, Max's Icon tires and what you see here is 29er 2.2 on this one. This one doesn't say it, but this is a 29er 235. Um, you see from the description here and they both say the same. These are for uh, hard pack, loose over hard, medium and loose. And both of these are made with uh, triple compound, that's what the 3C is about. EXO as in um, uh, reinforced sidewalls here. And this one says tubeless ready, the 2.2. Uh, the 235s don't say tubeless ready, but if you look at the weights stated by Maxis, it's like 15 grams difference. I don't think there's a much difference between the tubeless ready version of this and this one that doesn't have the TR. Um, comparing the two, right off the bat what you can see here and if you look at the the thread one it's a lot wider than the other one 51.5 millimeters width and this one knob to knob again about 60.5 so about nine millimeters wider on the 235 they did space out the knobs a bit more but not only that they spaced it out uh, they are also bigger the knobs are bigger and are taller knobs. Think about it as being about a, mil a millimeter, a millimeter and a half bigger, like wider and taller knobs, pretty much everywhere. Uh, most pronounced are these cornering knobs here on the 235 compared to what you have on the 2.2. On the scale, you can see this, the 2.2 here uh, comes up to 643 grams. The spec says 640, so that's very close, very impressive. Seven, uh, 235 comes up to 705, as you can see it here. Uh, Max's specs call for 725, so a bit lighter than suggested by Max's. I'm going to install these on a set of uh, Pacenti TL28 uh, rims, which are 23 millimeters inside as you can see it here that is 2342 and they are about 20 millimeters tall if I remember 18.8 here they are installed uh, what you see is the 2.2 on the left 235 on the right graphics on it you see on the left on the drive side you have the uh, Max's logo as well as the description of the tire. On the other side, you see on the right, uh, is just a Max's logo in uh, yellow. One thing that I want to mention here is that I really struggle to install these uh, with no tubes. So right now I have tubes in them uh, inflated to about 30 PSI. These are directional tires. You can see this V shape of the thread on both. Obviously the bigger one here is the 235. And this one is the 2.2. So this is the 2.2. Measuring the casing here, this is the 2.15 or 1.6. You can see how the, the thread is actually narrower than the casing. Measuring the knobs, here's just the casing. This is about 69 millimeters. 71.5. So about two and a half millimeters tall knobs. That is the center knobs that I measured. The other ones are a bit taller. Um, what you, you would expect is about, see if I can get this, about three millimeters. So a bit uh, taller side knobs on this one. Here's the 235 measured. The casing is a 225. If I am to go on the side knobs, this is a, a true 2.3. 71.5 is the casing and if you remember that was pretty much the uh, height with the knobs on the 2.2 with the knobs 74 and a bit so about same height of the center knobs however the side knobs on this one are definitely taller or they seem to be taller the side knobs measure about 435 millimeters you can see here how your side knobs perturb out of the casing so they're wider than the casing itself fairly obvious in this view here where if you look at the far side right there you can see the side knobs sticking out 
and compared to that one you can see here how the side knobs of the, of the 2.2 don't stick out at all the casing actually sticks out, out further than the side knobs okay so here's the deal what you see is my rear tire so I decided to install 235 front and back I didn't like the way the casing was exposed on a 2.2 and for 50 grams uh, weight penalty I'll take this uh, 235 any day uh, you can see nice big volume tires rolling resistance from a tiny bit of riding that I did around here seems to be decreased like, just like I expected it and um, I'm looking forward to next year to ride these for my cross-country type of races. I hope you guys found, found these details informative. If you have any questions, let me know below, and uh, I'll see you next time.